Okay, Breville Oracle coffee machine. Beautiful machine, but you're gonna find eventually the coffee will stop brewing because the solenoid starts jamming. Similarly, the hot water dispenser solenoid will start jamming. So this is how you fix it. First of all, there are two Phillips head screws in little holes under here. Make sure you don't put it in the, the lamp one. There's a lamp and a Phillips head screw. So you need a Phillips head screwdriver and um, there's one here and one here. You need to take those out around the back. There's some hex screws here. You need to take those out and um, of course remove the water dispenser. And there's two more screws in here, Phillips head ones. Those all need to be removed. Then the top can pop off. Okay, I've got the screws out. Um, and I'm trying to pop out this panel here. There's kind of some clips that go around the perimeter of this, but you need to take this back off so that the top can fold over because there's wires connecting everything. Um, so this thing here pops out pretty easily. There's a ground wire connecting, you can leave it like that. And now this allows us to lift the top. And there's a lot of, there's a fan and wires. And you wanna be able to just drop that back like that. And this gives you access inside. Okay, so there are uh, two solenoids relays that open the water flow. One here and one here. This is the hot water one, and I've already taken that apart, disassembled it, cleaned it, and put it back together, and it works. So we're gonna work on this one today. So there's clips um, holding some of the pipes in place. Oh, I don't see one here. This one is a vertical relay. Okay, so we're just gonna disconnect the electrical connections, make sure we know which ones go where, and the pipe. And then we'll disassemble this. Okay, we removed the wires from this. And now, oops, now there's four little screws that we're gonna undo to get this solenoid out. Now, I recommend rolling up some paper and sticking it in the little hole where the tube comes for manually adding coffee because you don't want any of these screws from here. I've got one left to accidentally drop down that hole. Okay, all the screws are out. And here is our solenoid valve. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, black goo on this plunger, and that's probably uh, an issue. Oops, sorry. So uh, we need to clean this all out. So these little metal pins are inside of the plastic ring and there's a lot of black gunk. I pulled that out and removing and cleaning all the gunk. Okay, I removed the pipe. You have to do a lot of unscrewing of this and then eventually that comes off. And that comes off. Okay, and here is our, our relay. Okay, now this is extremely tight. You need to get some good spanners. I've already loosened mine. We need to get some good leverage to unscrew this. And the mechanism inside is what we need to clean. And uh, you can see how dirty that is. We're gonna clean that all out. This plunger in the end, that's what's not moving. And that's because it's all gummed up. So we're gonna take this out and clean it all up. I'm trying to do this with two hands, but this little plunger here goes in and out. And it's just got so dirty, it doesn't work anymore. All we gotta do is clean it. I use muriatic acid from the pool. 
is good, but once we clean this, this thing will work like new again. Okay, bung them in some muriatic acid. Let that sit for a little bit. And then we'll clean them off. Okay, the acid helped loosen up the debris. And with some Q-tips, paper towels, and fingernails, and just stuff the paper in there or Q-tips. And uh, you can clean everything out. The plunge is now in pretty nice shape. That's all it is, it's just dirty. And put it all back together, and it should work great. Similarly with the base unit, we wanna clean it out as much as possible. If you pull the end off the Q-tip a little bit, you can make it small enough to fit through here, and you can just twirl it and get all the gunk out. Okay, so that's how base pretty clean now. We could acid wash that, but you know what? I'm not going to bother. It's clean enough. Here we've got our plunger with our nice, look how nice and easy that goes in and out now. So, all we're going to do is make them back up. And we'll, we'll tighten this hole back up and put the other bits back in. Alright, this is all tightened on with pliers. I'm going to put these little pins back in the, the two holes there and then reassemble our relay. Uh, it goes on like this. Uh, the washer on here first, then this, and then the nut, and these two little things, and we're, we're good to go. We're back in the machine. Okay, so you're going to make sure these electrical connections and these two prongs, you see they're on the right-hand side of the thing. It's got to go back like this. So make sure it's aligned like that before you tighten the nut at the top. Okay, screws are back in. You need to add the electrical connections and the pipe back. Um, and there is actually one more solenoid valve over here, which I uh, haven't done. We need to do that one next as well. Not sure what that one does. Three all together. One, two, three. And beautifully made, they just need to be cleaned. Okay, wires and pipe back on. Remove my paper from the manual coffee pipe. I want to stress though, you need the machine unplugged for all of this. Because if you turn it on without a pipe connected, there'll be an error message and a service light on, on the screen will appear. And there's no way to get out of it. Well, you can turn it on and off, it keeps coming back. I found though that if you press all three of these buttons at the same time as you press the power button, it cleared the service menu and went back to normal operation. Otherwise you'll be stuck with that and have to send it in. Okay, I've got the lid off so we can you know, hear the relay and feel if it's connected and working right. And uh, let's pull a shot so you can hear the First click, the pre-infuse. Okay. Uh, something didn't flow. There's no coffee beans in here right now, so I need to test it with back pressure. But uh, yeah, it seems to work. So the next test is lid on and some coffee beans in there. And putting the lid on, just reverse what we did before. Okay, coffee machine is back in the coffee station. Ground some beans. So, let's see if it'll handle the back pressure with the beans in and brew us some coffee. Nice solid click there from the solenoid. $2,000 Oracle that didn't need replacing.